Photomator is an easy to use image editor that makes professional photo editing accessible to everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at Photomator's powerful new files browser, which lets you effortlessly browse and non-destructively edit photos stored anywhere on your Mac. In the Photomator toolbar, you'll now find a handy new browser pop-up menu. You can use it to easily switch between the Photos and Files browsers and choose whether you'd like to work with photos stored in your Photos app or elsewhere on your Mac. If you've opened the Files browser for the first time, you'll see a welcome screen with some useful tips on how to get started with importing your files and folders. The quickest way to do that is by simply dragging and dropping them to the sidebar on the left. Let's do that. The import happens instantly. This is because Photometer integrates seamlessly with the macOS file system, so it doesn't duplicate or import files into a separate library, but lets you work with them directly on your Mac. This makes photo editing incredibly fast and clutter-free. When you select a folder, at the top of the screen you can see just how many subfolders and photos it contains, and you can open its original location. If you decide to rename or move folders around, either in Photomator or directly on your Mac, the changes will sync immediately, keeping everything up to date. Also, just as easily as you import files, you can make entire storage locations available in your library by simply dragging them from Finder to the Photomator icon in the dock. You can add SD cards, external drives, cloud services, and more. Alright, now that we've added some photos to our library, let's see how editing works in the Files browser. Let's open this photo and make a few edits. All edits in Photomator are completely non-destructive. You can adjust colors, remove unwanted objects, crop, use AI-powered features, and revert back to the original photo at any time. When editing, you can continue managing your photos using the film strip at the bottom. There's no need to go back to the files browser if, for example, you want to duplicate or delete a photo. Simply control-click the image thumbnail and choose what you'd like to do. Because we use native Apple file system features for this, Photomator can create multiple copies of photos without taking up extra space on your device. So you can experiment with different edits and styles to find the perfect look for your photo. Okay, these colors look great. Let's quickly delete the photos we won't be using by pressing the Command Backspace keyboard shortcut. When you delete photos, they move directly to the trash on your Mac and can be recovered at any time. Let's click Done to save our edits. After editing one photo, you can quickly apply the same changes to multiple others using the Pace Adjustments feature, making your editing faster and more consistent. Whenever you edit photos, the changes you make are saved right next to them in their original folder. This side-by-side -side edit saving lets you preserve all non-destructive edits while keeping your original photos untouched. This is especially important when working with RAW files, which are read-only and can't be edited directly. You can also be sure your edits will stay in sync if, for example, you open the same SD card on another device. If you prefer saving edits directly to the file you're editing, in Photomator settings you can also choose to modify the original photos. Let's open the Imported File section in the sidebar to see how this works with the photos we've added from the desktop earlier. Any photos that you open or import one by one will be added to this collection. Since the changes are saved directly to the original photos, you can see them update in real time on the desktop as you edit them. This works with any regular image formats like JPEG, PNG, or HEEC. Now let's talk about sharing your edited photos. Photomator makes this super easy. To export an edited photo, you can simply drag and drop it from Photomator to any location on your Mac. To quickly share a photo through email or messages, you can also use the share menu at the top of your screen. If you're looking to export a bunch of edited photos with specific settings, you can use Photomator's batch editing feature to automate the process. Simply select the photos you wish to export, pick an export workflow at the top of the screen, choose where to save them, and you're done. It's also a breeze to collaborate on photo projects through shared folders in iCloud. You can quickly add a shared folder to your library right from iCloud Drive using the handy Photometer Share extension. If this option isn't visible, you'll need to enable it in the System Settings app in the Sharing Extensions section. No matter whether you're starting a shared editing session or joining one, all collaborators with access to the shared folder can easily browse and edit the photos in it. 
and any edits made on one device will automatically sync with all others in real time. This is fantastic for team projects or sharing family albums where multiple people might want to add their own edits or simply preview photo albums without having to additionally export or download them. And that's it for this quick overview of the new files browser in Photomator. If you'd like to learn about every change in this major update, you can check out the full release notes on our updates page and keep an eye out for even more exciting features like image sorting and rating coming to the files browser in future updates. Thanks for watching.